idea from Acts chapter 16 verses 1 to 5 but our main scripture is actually from 11 um, 11 to 15 but let's hear about this the beginning the introduction of that Acts 16, 1 to 5, New King James Version. Then he came to Deb and Lystra, and behold, a certain disciple was there named Timothy, the son of a certain Jewish man who believed, a Jewish woman who believed, but his father was Greek. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are talking about Paul. Paul himself, we are told that he had a certain disciple. Do you have a disciple with you? Are you in the business of making disciples? Let me tell you, if you want to walk around, the best company to keep is your disciple. Praise the Lord. The best company is a disciple. Be in the business of making disciples. And for you to make a disciple, you first win that soul into the kingdom of God. So we see already, Paul has already done the work of winning this soul of this man who had a Greek, he had the, the blood of the Greek and the blood of the Jews. But he was not complete without Christ. Praise the Lord. Even if he was a mixture, but he was not complete. So you need to be completed when you're in Christ Jesus. But you know what? Paul decided I'm not going this journey with other people, but I'm making this journey because it's very important to take a disciple with me. And today I brought one. Praise the Lord. Today I said I'm not bringing my, my hubby. Today I'm bringing one of my disciples. Can you come my disciple please, Cecilia? Glory to Jesus. Today I would say that I will be in the company of a disciple. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Would you want to say hello to the people of God? All right. Say hi. Can Praise give God. Give her a microphone. Praise the Lord. We can share. Praise God. Amen. Praise God again. Amen. My name is Cecilia Mwangi, and I'm blessed to be here. I'm born again. Yes, and I'm very happy to be with you. Be blessed. Praise the Lord. You can take that. I'm giving it to you. Hello. <laughs> Help us to turn it on, please. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Thank you, Cecilia. Praise the Lord. That is one of my disciples. I've been with her since she was um, 10. Praise the Lord. She was 10 and now she's in Form 3. Praise the Lord. And she's one of the preachers in our house. Glory to Jesus. So as I'm, dis I'm, I'm doing the work of a dis of um, as I'm doing the work of making that disciple move on to another level. That is what the Lord is putting to my heart. Get your disciple and walk together. Glory to God. Praise be to Jesus. Because you're not going to be in the same level with your disciple. You will move to another level because your disciple is not overtaking you. Praise the Lord. So Paul has already taken this disciple with him. He was well spoken of by the brethren who were at Lystra and Iconium. Paul wanted to have him go on with him. And he took him and circumcised him because of the Jews who were in that region. For they all knew that his father was Greek. And as they went through the cities, they delivered to them the decrees to keep which were determined by the apostles and elders at Jerusalem. So the churches were strengthened in the faith and increased in number daily. When you walk with the disciple, I am telling you the church will never be the same. There has to be increase. Say, there has to be increase. Praise the Lord. Don't just walk with anybody. Take a disciple. Be in the business of making disciples. Because it's until when we know and locate 
the disciples and move with them that is when the church is going to increase because I already have someone who is praying for me when seated there. Praise the Lord. I already have someone who has already found Christ. I've already, I already have someone who is saying amen. Even if anybody else is not doing it, someone is saying amen. Praise be to Jesus. And that disciple is also keeping me in shape. I'm not going to say things that are not there. Glory to Jesus. I will say what is true and I'm going to speak that which is going to stay. Praise the Lord. Praise be to Jesus. So let's choose to work with disciples. And before you have this disciple, don't grab other people's disciples. Hallelujah. Don't get other people's disciples. Get yours. Start with yours from down there and rise up together. And your life will not be the same. Praise the Lord. So the church will continue to be strengthened in faith and increased in number daily. We are, that is why you have to walk daily with a disciple. So that there will be an increase daily. Praise be to Jesus. The business of the kingdom is daily. It has to have increased daily. Not just one day. Praise the Lord. Not only the time when we have dominion conference. It has to be every day. Praise the Lord. And walking with this disciple, this disciple had already received Christ earlier because it was, in, when you check, um, when you look at Acts chapter 14, you'll be able to see where, where Timothy came in with that mission when Paul went into this place, into this region. He had gone into that mission field and that is the time he got born again because he already, he's already speaking about him in 2 Timothy chapter 1 verses, uh, 5, verses 5. It says, when I call to remembrance the genuine faith that is in you, which dwelt first in your grandma, grandmother Lois and your mother Eunice, and I am persuaded is in you also. So he already knew that the parents, the grandparents were already born again. They were Paul's disciples. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. And Paul did not stop there. He went on making sure that not only the grandmother and even the grandma, but he's reaching even to the grandchildren. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And that is the business that I am in, raising the CMCs who are also already parents that are being also, they are going to be raising the second and the third generation of CMCs. Praise be to Jesus. Then in verse, in, verse, um, in verse 6, it says, Now when they had gone through Persia and the region of Galatia, they were forbidden by the Holy Spirit. And before we go there, Paul, you know, before Paul would do other business, he would first go to the synagogue. Glory to Jesus. And he knew um, the Pharisees and the Sanhedrins were there. So before going there, he made sure, because this man that he was with, the disciple that he had, he knew people are going to question. And so therefore he had to make sure that which is going to cause the gospel not to be preached among the Jews and even received, he made sure that Timothy is in line. Glory to Jesus. So he had to circumcise him first before he take them to the Jews so that he can be received and so that they can continue with ministry. Praise the Lord. You have to make sure that where you're going, that you know what, don't just take things for granted. Make sure that you are lining things as you go into the ministry, as you go out there to make disciples, that wherever you're going, make sure you know about the place and know what is needed. Glory to Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We have many people who have gone into the, into the Middle East to minister. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Some of them have, have some of them dress like them so that they can reach them. Glory to Jesus. Not that they have changed and become them, but they do it so that they can be accepted and they, so that they can receive the message that they have. Praise the Lord. Because I've seen some of them dressed the way they dress there in the Middle East. And I wonder, now this was my disciple, what became of you? But the reason why they are doing it, it is so that they are able to reach they are able to be allowed to minister amongst them. 
Because as they live their lifestyle, they will see and they will receive our Lord. Glory to Jesus. So now, already he has already taken him and they've been accepted. And now when they had gone through Pagia and the region of Galatia, they were forbidden by the Holy Spirit to preach the word in Asia. What a blessing. When you are sensitive to the Holy Spirit, he will tell you this is not a place to preach. Go to another direction where I need you to go and deliver these words. Glory to God. Then they go on and after they had come to Mesia, they tried to go into Bethnia, but the Spirit did not permit them to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There are times the Lord will stop you from doing things, but you have to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. Why is he stopping me from doing this? Yes, I'm in zeal of preaching the gospel. I want, a people, to, I want people to hear the word of God. I want them to know my God, but God tells you it's not time now. Uh, wait until the time when I'm taking you there or taking you through another direction to bring you here. Praise the Lord then because i remember when i went to the u.s the first time people were persuading me to stay because i had a visa of five years i'm talking about 20 about almost um almost 26 years ago and <laughs> praise the someone not born glory to jesus so when i got there because i had gone for a christian camp i was already the principal of cornerstone academy and i went there so when i got there people the people who had gone there before me they were telling me why are you going back you have a visa of five years you stay with us enjoy yourself here in, a, in the u.s but i told them it is not time glory to jesus because why do i come here without my family what kind of life will I live here without my family? It was not time. Many have been, I mean, many have gone and they cannot come back. Praise be to Jesus. Many have gone and they cannot even come and bury their relatives. Because there is no way they can go back when they come here. Praise the Lord. But I told them, I cannot, it is not yet time. But when the time came, we knew it was time. Hallelujah. I went, there, I went there three times before going there to settle. So when we were going to settle, it was time. Praise the Lord. And now the settling there, I knew I'm going there to dig the wells. But if I went there before that time, I would not have been able to do the things that God was sending me to do. So Paul was very sensitive to the Holy Spirit. If you want to dig and maintain the wells, you have to be sensitive to the Spirit. If you are not sensitive, you are going to miss it. You are going to dig in the wrong place. And when you dig in the wrong place, there will be no water. Praise the Lord. There will be no life. There will be nothing to hold, I mean to maintain you. So it is important to listen to the Holy Spirit. So we are told, uh, and the, okay, so passing by Magia, they came down to Trous. And a vision appeared to Paul in the night. A man, um, a man of Macedonia stood and pleaded with him saying, come over to Macedonia and help us. Now after he had seen the vision, immediately we sought to go to Macedonia. That the Lord had called us to preach the gospel to them. Praise the Lord. Imagine if they stopped in the first time when they thought that is where they were going. If they stopped there to start digging the wells, do you know they would not have come into a position of seeing a vision? Some of us have missed a vision because we just want to do it our own way. We are just, I mean, we are not, we are not patient and even sensitive to the spirit. Let's be patient. Let's be sensitive and we are going to come to a point where you hear it clearly and as you hear it and receive it, you'll be able to go to the direction that the Lord is leading you. Now we come to our main scripture. Therefore, that is verse 11. Therefore, sailing from Trous, we ran a straight course to Samothrace, and the next day came to Neapolis, and from there to Philippi, which is the foremost city of the part of Macedonia, a colony. And we were in that city for some days. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Waiting to know what God is telling you to do. The time you are in, what is, does God want you to do during this time in regards to his kingdom business? Why are you at this 
time, uh, in this conference? Why has God allowed you to come even today? You are here yesterday. You are here on Sunday when you started the conference. Why are you here? Praise the Lord. But you are waiting. Some probably have already given up. They came first day and they are gone. But you have come and you've continued to come. These ones, they were there not just one day, but for a few days. We are told they were there. Glory to Jesus. Some days. Can you wait? There are members who are here, they don't know when the fellowship days are. I'm here to tell you, you got to know what is God doing in this house? What is God saying in this season? What is God, what does God want us to do this season? Because we are not going to do things the same way we did them last year. We are not going, this year is different from last year. Praise the Lord. We have just come from out of COVID. Some people are still, they still want to be in COVID. Praise it to Jesus. In the US, this is what happened during COVID. Because with the other, I mean, all the offices were closed. There was nothing going on. We stayed in homes. So people were paid. In America, we were paid to stay at home. Glory to Jesus. Praise the Lord. So you stay, we stayed at home. That was the season we were to stay at home and we were paid. Glory to Jesus. We were earning as we were sitting in the homes. Glory to Jesus. Praise the Lord. And then when COVID was over, when people were told to go back to work, people did not want to go to work. They wanted to stay there to be paid without working. Glory to God. They did not know the season was over. The season of sitting there just waiting for the Lord to feed you, it was over. And imagine having a government that is feeding you and you are not going to work. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because there are some, some of them, as much as even you, some of them, they wanted them to work from their homes. There was, there's nothing you can do. Because if it is customer care, you, there's nothing you can do. You have to be with a customer. Praise the Lord. And here, people don't want to go because they feel they want that. That is how they want it to be. People want to be comfortable in a season. But I'm here to let you know, as a church, you are not going to be comfortable. Glory to Jesus. You got to know what season are we going to. Yes, this is the season of redigging the wells. Hallelujah. And repossessing. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. You don't just redig the wells. You have to redig prayers. Hallelujah. Now we are told where they had gone to the river, there were prayer meetings and the prayer meetings were for the women. Praise the Lord. Men that are in the house who has told you you cannot go to where women are praying. Glory to Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. Who has told you you cannot attend women meetings? Who has told you you cannot attend women fellowships? Paul and Timothy, his disciple, they went right where the women were. Glory to Jesus. Why? Because there was something, glory to Jesus, there was something that was going to take place where these women are praying. Where women are praying, things are not the same. Praise it to Jesus. If the women in the church don't pray, things will not go well. I'm not saying that men, men, men are the, I mean men don't have to pray, men have to pray even more. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. If women are praying once, men should be praying twice. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So now Paul decides, you know what? Yes, as much as I was in a synagogue, as much as I was in my own prayer meeting, my own prayer time with my disciple, as I was teaching my disciple and praying with my disciple, I am going where these women are. Hallelujah. If there's a prayer meeting there, I will go. Glory to Jesus. Don't say it is theirs. Let me tell you, in the kingdom of God, there's no man or woman. Praise the Lord. So this time we are told. Now a, cert, a certain woman. Named Lydia. Glory to Jesus. I thank God we have Lydia in the house. Praise the Lord. Had us. Praise the Lord. She was a seller of purple from the city of the terror. Who worshipped God. The Lord opened her heart to heed the things spoken by Paul. Glory to Jesus. 
And when she and her household were baptized, she begged us saying, if you have judged me to be faithful to the Lord, come, it was for the royals. It was not just for ordinary people. people ordinary people are not supposed to wear purple. Glory to God. The kind of clothes she was making was for special people, expensive garments. The expensive things can only, only the kings can afford to wear them. Only the people in the royal, the royal family are the only ones who are supposed to wear purple. Glory to Jesus. So purple is a royal color. I hope you are, um, I hope Pastor Lydia loves purple. Glory to Jesus. Because it's a royal color. Glory to God. So she's dealing with the royal family. She's dealing with people of high class. She's dealing with people who are capable of supporting the gospel that, the, that Paul is carrying to take it to other nations. If you are not sensitive, there is no way you can get to the royal well. He has come to the royal world and now he's connected. Praise be to Jesus. There is a connection because you know what? When you're connected with the royals, your life is not going to be the same. The royal, they carry everything. Glory to Jesus. They have everything that is required to, for us to take the gospel out. Praise the Lord. For us to have the gospel supported because the gospel, the gospel is free, but it is expensive to carry it and take it to other nations. Praise be to Jesus. It is not cheap to fly in here because now I come back to Kenya as a missionary. Hallelujah. Praise be to Jesus. Hallelujah. In our church in America, they know me as their missionary to Africa. Glory to God. Praise be to Jesus. So I come back here as a missionary. It's not cheap to fly here. Praise the Lord. So we need the royals who are capable of supporting the gospel. And here he has found people who have access to the royal family. They have access to where all everything that we need for the gospel is. Praise the Lord. But when if you're just thinking of what I'm going to eat, how I'm going to live, where I'm going to stay, where I'm going to dwell, let me tell you, oh, when are you going to reach the royal family? The royal family is waiting to hear the gospel. The royal family is waiting for that garment to be brought to them. And when it is brought to them, it carries the anointing. Praise the Lord. And the anointing that it carries is going to cause great things to happen. It is going to have the king have the wisdom. It is going to cause everyone that is the royal family to act in the right manner. Praise be to Jesus. You cannot change things without knowing where you should go without knowing where the royal wells are hallelujah where they get their water where they get the anointing that they need where they get their help they are prayed for at the river hallelujah these women as they are meeting there they are not just praying for their own things they are praying for even the, where they are taking their things where they are taking their business and I declare to every business person in this place that your season of getting and reaching the royals has come you will not just be selling your things or even doing business with just a kawaida person you are rising to the level where everyone that is mighty in this land that does not know the Lord you are reaching them in Jesus name you are reaching them and they are coming here in the name of Jesus so you got to be directed you got to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit so that you know where they are glory to God you know where their wells are where they can draw their water praise it to Jesus Jesus knew where the well that is going to carry the gospel all over the world was and that is where, where he met the Samaritan woman, drawing the water and told her everything that she had done. This woman became the first evangelist. Hallelujah. Can you imagine fire? And if this fire will continue burning all over. Praise the Lord. Because of them being obedient to the Holy Spirit. I love the story in the book of Acts. I love the miracles in the book of Acts. Praise the Lord. I love the teachings in the book of Acts because things are not just kawaida. Hallelujah. Mm. We are told that you know what? Where, where, and when she and her household were baptized, 
she begged us saying, if you have judged me to be faithful to the Lord, come to my house and stay. You are staying to some, with somebody who already has access hmm, to the palace. Praise the Lord. What can't they give you? Because you know what? At the palace, they have access. That's where they take their goods. Their customers are the kings. May your customers be the royal people. May your customers be the kings. May your disciples be the kings. In the name of Jesus. That you are getting connected to people you never expected you can even reach. Hallelujah. That people whom you never even imagine. You see them, they are going all over to other places. But no, you feel, mm -mm, here they can't. Just because of where the church is, I'm telling you they are coming. Glory to God. Praise be to Jesus. And you'll be wondering who gave them the pin. Praise be to Jesus. Of this place, they will come and they will locate you. Because the season of you reaching the royals has come. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are getting the connection. Praise be to Jesus. Their workers are coming to worship with us. And as their workers are coming to worship here, they are coming because they have to follow. Glory to Jesus. Look at the girl that was um, in Syria. Praise the Lord. She was just a house girl. She was just a maid. Hallelujah. And she saw that the, 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 the boss... He needed to be healed. The leprosy he has, the only person that can heal is that man of God. The anointing that is upon the man of God in my place is the only one who can do this. Praise the Lord. And Naaman goes all the way to look for the prophet. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But because the only place he can go to is to the king, he goes to ask for the king to heal him but he's told direct him praise the lord the prophet is telling the king direct him to where we are because this is where the healing is hallelujah i have what they need this church has what the royals need praise it to jesus hallelujah matatizo ya inchi hii ya tatulizwa na hii kanisa Glory to Jesus. Did you hear what I said? The need that is in this nation is not in parliament, it's not in state house. The need is will be met right here at this altar. This is where the need is going to be met in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And we are directing them here because this is where the well, the royal well, it is our season of getting in right here to deliver that which God has put in our lives. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Get out of your comfort zone now. Get out of feeling that you know what, I'm the one in need. Let me tell you, there are people who are in greater need and they have billions and they don't know what to do. We are billionaires in this country. They don't know what they are going to do with their, their billions. Praise the Lord. They are afraid they are going to leave their billions. And, and, and there is nothing they've done with their billions. They've not had a chance even to enjoy their billions. But I am telling you, you have the answer. Because they need to bring those billions here. So that we can build a stadium here. In Jesus name. Glory to Jesus. Don't tell me we have a stadium here in Kasarani. There is another one that is going to be the size of a stadium that is going to be built in this place. I declare it in Jesus' name. Because the royals are coming. They are coming to enjoy the presence of God. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Don't say I don't even have enough to pay my rent. Praise be to Jesus. You cannot build a stadium here and not build a estate around it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm talking about estates being built around the cathedral that you are building. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I declare it whether the devil likes it or not. A season has come. Praise the Lord.
So we are told that, you know what, you, then even when you get into such a comfortable place, you can imagine now Paul, a missionary, now he's, he's already living in a place where it's actually, you cannot have a businesswoman who is taking the garments to the royal family, living just the kawaida way. No, she's living in a good house where Paul would have said, let me just relax and enjoy. Praise the Lord. Uh -huh, you are ministers of the gospel. You are not going to continue enjoying the way you are enjoying, just feeling you are already arrived. No. Paul decided, you know what, as much as yes, this, the bed is comfortable, everything is comfortable, we are sleeping on great linen, hallelujah. But Paul decided it is time, we have to go out. So they go out. Let me tell you, and I told you, walk with your disciple. So that things can happen. You cannot walk with your disciple and stay with your disciple in the house. Don't train your disciple to sit. We have trained them to sit for a long time. You have trained them to sit. Yani, your training is come sit. The training now has to be get out. Praise the Lord. Get out. And so that you can take the, what you have, what I've taught you, you've got to take it out. You are not going to stay here. I can stay here myself and watch, but and I can also walk you out. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Do you know what my disciple is doing? She's preaching online. Praise the Lord. Actually, the last time she preached, she had 10,000 views. Yes. Training the disciple to go out, not to sit at the comfort zone. She arrived today from school, but she knows tomorrow I need a message that has to be preached online so that the gospel can be preached. When I'm not preaching, she's preaching. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And if you've never seen her online, you get to her website and you'll be able to see her preaching. Praise the Lord. And when she doesn't preach, the people in the U.S., they ask me, where is Cecilia? Glory to God. So Cecilia is already known. She actually, she's now known more than me. You can imagine 10,000 views. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is the God we serve. Hallelujah. And she has not told her school yet. Wait when she will tell her school that she's, she preaches online. Hallelujah. Train your disciples to get out. Paul told, told him, told Mother, you are not going to continue enjoying the comfort of this bed. No, you're getting out. So they go out in verse 16. And now it happened as they went to pray. Not just praying in the house. It's good to pray in the house. Get them out to go and pray outside. That a certain slave girl possessed with the spirit of divination met us who brought her masters much profit by fortune telling how are you going to meet this kind of a person when you are indoors how are you going to meet the fortune tellers when you are sitting indoors comfortably wow I can't wait for Sunday to go to church I go to the first service and even stay in the second service and if possible even stay the third service I'm here to tell you glory to Jesus when you're out of this church on Sunday, Monday should be out with your disciples. Praise the Lord. And we are talking about daily. So we are told here, Paul, they went out to pray. They would have prayed in the house. It's comfortable. Praise the Lord. Um, I believe the whole, the whole house was carpeted. Because the king's houses are carpeted. Not just here. The whole place was carpeted. Hallelujah. And you know, in the U.S., actually, the, everything is carpeted. Glory to Jesus. Even the walls are carpeted because of sound. Sound is not supposed to go outside. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The, uh -huh, walls, are, walls are soundproof. Stay with your sounds. But before we get there, let's go out. Glory to Jesus. Before we come to insulate so that sound can stay here, can we get out there and take it out before it is locked in? 
Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. So they go out and pray and they see this, the possessed, this girl is possessed. And imagine what is the fortune tell the fortune teller is saying. The girl followed Paul and us. Because if the person writing this is with Paul, isn't it? Giving a testimony. And Paul is also with Timothy and somebody else. Who uh, okay, Paul uh, and cried out saying, These men are the servants of the Most High God. It is true. They are servants of the Most High God. It is true. That is the truth. Huh? Who proclaim to us the way of salvation. That is true. And she did, and, and this she did for many days. So Paul was there for many days. So meaning, before you start casting out demons, glory to God. Yeah? Kukemea tu, yani, eh? Before, they were there for many days. Do you hear that? And she continued saying that. These are the servants of the Most High God. And they are proclaiming to us the way of salvation every day, many days. Many could be even a year. Many could be even three years. Praise the Lord. So Paul was not just seated comfortably to be served, taken good care of, but she was out to go out every day. And as she continued like this, hmm, but Paul, greatly annoyed, turned and said to the spirit, I command you in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And he came out that very hour. But when her master saw that, their hope of profit was gone. They seized Paul and Silas and dragged them into the marketplace to the authorities. Some of you, you are afraid of being taken to the authorities. I came here to tell you, you will not be comfortable anymore. In the name of Jesus Christ. You go out, it doesn't matter what the demons are going to say. But it is time for them to be cast out. But they are not cast out in here. Out there is where they are. Glory to Jesus. Glory to God. They are out there. Walk with your disciple. So that your disciple can hear who you are. Let the demons proclaim who you are. But Paul became angry because you know what? Yes, you know, people would be thinking we are together. Whatever I am doing is aligning with them. No. A time came to make a difference that we are not together. We are not, we don't pray the same way. You will not tell us, you know what? We stand on the same pulpit with just the religious people and we proclaim that we are the same. We are not. We cannot share the pulpits with people who do not believe in our Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to God. We are not going to share the pulpit with them. We are not going to share the pulpits. They sit down and listen. But we will not share. Praise the Lord. Because you know if Paul allowed that to continue like that. And did not cast out that demon. People would have thought you know what. This is just another diviner. This is just. Oh my, they, they, they just worship the same way. But Paul wanted to make a difference. We will not know. People will not know the difference. Until you go out there with your disciple and they hear that you know what? Paul has come. Glory to God. And Paul has come and you know what? Because they don't want to go out. They don't want to, to cast you to cast them out. They want to say how godly you are. They want to tell you how holy you are. But it is not time to agree with them. It is time to cast them out. Praise the Lord. Amen. You are afraid of going where they are? Bring them here when you've already delivered them. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You have the power. You have the anointing. Deliver them and come with them. Praise the Lord. Glory to Jesus. But you see now, she was making profit. This person did not recognize who Paul was. The demons knew who Paul was. But now here, when he was annoyed, he cast them out and they came out that hour. The only thing you need to be sensitive about is, is it time to cast them out? Is it time or am I just, you don't just meet with a demon and then you just cast out. Take time. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hear from the Lord. How will I address this?
How is it going to be taken out? Praise the Lord. When the time comes, you'll be ancient to do it. And the Lord is going to do it for his own glory. Then we are told they were, they, were, they were brought to the magistrates. They were beaten. Glory to God. Yeah, don't be afraid of the beatings. They'll be there. Hallelujah. The beatings will be there. Taking your disciple with you because they want to ashamed you before your disciple. They will even call you names before your disciple. People who are already, the demons have already addressed Paul as the servant of the most high God. And now they are being beaten. Glory to God. The demons will do that. We make sure they bring you to that point because they want to stop the work of the gospel. Whether they speak it, whether they say it, whether they try to stop, the gospel has to continue. But do not align with them. Praise the Lord. Whether they are doing, whether they are performing miracles. Hallelujah. Even Pharaoh's magicians performed miracles. Hallelujah. But we are here with the true miracles of casting out demons. And our greatest miracle is salvation. Praise the Lord. Having people born again. You better not do anything else but have people come into the kingdom of God. When they come into the kingdom of God, disciple them. And the demons will not stay in Jesus' name. Then we are told that they were already now even taken to prison. And we are told that they fastened their feet in, the sto in stocks. So they were not just put in prison. They were fastened there such that they cannot escape. And you can imagine the, 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 kind, of, the kind of prisons they had that day. You cannot escape. Even if, you, even if you are put there and you are free, you cannot escape. But at midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns. With your disciple, go to prison. Glory to Jesus. Don't go alone to prison. Take your disciple with you. Praise the Lord. Take your disciple to the royal, to the, to the, to, to the palace, and take the disciple with you, even to the prison. Hallelujah. She was beaten together with his disciple. But at midnight, Paul and Silas. So we have Paul, we have Silas, we have Timothy. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And we have the writer. So we have four people here. Have you seen where the fourth person has come in? We have four people. They are put in prison. They were praying and singing hymns to God. And the prisoners were listening to them. So you are teaching your disciple in prison. So how are you going to teach your disciple on how to behave when they go into those areas where it is difficult? When they go even into countries where the gospel is not allowed to be preached. How are you going to train them if you are not going out with them? If you are not training them? You just want to go to work, come back to your house, come to church, stay like that. Disciple somebody. Tell your pa the person next to you, disciple somebody. So we are told they were there and they were listening. In prison that you, the prisoners have to hear the gospel. But how would they hear it if the people who have the gospel will not go? It is time and how will you go to prison? You go to prison because of preaching the truth. Let us not be taken to prison because of doing the wrong things. Let us be taken to prison because of the gospel. Glory to God. Glory to Jesus. I sometimes I do counseling and I, I came to a place and I was told you know what Grace you are just too religious praise the Lord <laughs> you're, just, you're just too religious huh? you want to pray with everybody praise the Lord <laughs> you're just too religious we allowed you to come here and counsel people but not to come and pray with them Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But what is best, what's the best thing for me to do? This person is suffering. The demon in that person is really bothering this person. My work is to cast out that demon. Glory to Jesus. It is not to just bembeleza the demon. Huh? Atikum bembeleza tukumambia wuye apana. Your, your paper on talk, glory to Jesus. 
So I, I had to pray for these people who are telling me that I'm praying. I mean, it's too much. Praise the Lord. Until they had to say, no, Grace has not come here. Because we have told her not to pray for people, but she's still praying for them. What else can I do on this earth? The best thing I can do to people is to pray for them. Get them delivered and get them born again. So there are many places I've been stopped to go because I have to pray for them. I start with the prayer and finish with the prayer. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, why are you praying with the atheists? They need God. The atheists need God more than anybody else. Praise the Lord. So you, you, you are taken to prison. Be taken to prison because of Christ. But don't go to prison because you're doing dirty things. Do the right thing by serving the Lord, glorifying his name. So they've, they've gone there to prison. And we are told that when, as they are praising, eh, Paul is teaching them here, we don't come here just to sit like anybody else. Here we have come here for kingdom business. Praise the Lord. Turn the prison into a church. And here they praise the Lord. Don't wait until and praying and saying, I wish, I wish they can release me before Sunday so that I can go to church. No, pray and praise the Lord in prison. The situation you are in, it doesn't matter how it looks like, pray and praise the Lord. And as they praise the Lord, we are told suddenly the great earthquake so um, there was great earthquake so the foundations of the prison were shaken and immediately all doors were opened and everyone's chains were loosed there are people who need to be loosed praise the Lord there are people who need to be loosed and that is why it is very important for us to go to people glory to God so that when I'm praising eh? huh Nikisema Paulo Nasila Paulo Nasila Ji Milango ya Gereza Om ukiimba na yeye anafanya nini? Anajibu na anakusaidia mnaimba pamoja. But now you are leaving your disciples unamhubiria unamwacha. Walk with this disciple even to prison. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Let this disciple know kuna wakati tulikosa chakula na tuliomba chakula kikaja. Tukimaliza tukisema amen tumegongewa mlango. Mtu analeta chakula na lori. Praise the Lord. Let them know. Wow, I mean don't just tell them wakilia tu na warushia vitu. Praise the Lord. Walk the journey together until you come to the other side. So kwa hivyo sio kumwachilia ti disciple wewe usha ah usha muhubiria mwache akule shida kama vile ulikula. Kule ni shida pamoja. Praise the Lord. Walk the journey together and you see what is going to God is going to do. Because now the prisoners they heard voices of people. Lakini wengine Mukifika wakati wa to be taken to prison some run away and they leave others. Praise the Lord. But your disciple will not leave you. Others will leave you but your disciple, your disciple do attend our happy. Ana kuangalia wewe. You are the one to mentor them. So walk with them so that hata kukiwaji your disciple will stay with you. Praise the Lord. Nimeacha na wengi lakini my disciples Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We were depending na nguo mzee. Praise the Lord. Zile nguo watu wamefutumia wakatumia. Hawataki kutumia tena. Wanatuletea. But they were good. Praise the Lord. We came out. Praise the Lord. We were together. Tulukua pamoja. Praise be to Jesus. Some left us because it's taking too long. Mm, we break through, we make up. But your disciple will not leave you. Hallelujah. Now, glory to Jesus. They wear new. Praise the Lord. They wear new clothes. 
Praise be to Jesus. In fact hata watu wakija sasa kuleta nguo mzee wanashindwa wengine ikiwa zilikuwa kwa gari ya watoi. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Because wakiwaona my disciples what God has done for them and what God has done for us they cannot. Glory to Jesus. So anatuambia mna do you know another home to apeleke? Glory to Jesus. Yeah, they will tell us, you know, we, we were going to a children's home. But I don't think it's this one. Praise the Lord. They called us and they told us they were coming. Lakin wakifika wanatuambia, I don't think ni uku tulikuwa tunakuja. Yeah. Walk with your disciple to that level. Glory to Jesus. So now they are in prison together. And... What happened we are told wameskia mtetemeko wa athi wameskia mambo yakifanyika foundations been shaken and prison door been opened and immediately all doors been opened and everyone chains were loosed and the keeper of the prison awaking from sleep and seeing the prison doors open supposing the prisoners had fled drew his sword and was about to kill himself praise be to Jesus God's people Prisoners wale wengine kungefunguka wangeenda lakini these ones are peculiar I want to know what is in them that has caused them that the prison doors have opened and they knew what is going to be their judgment na sasa hapa wamegojea wananigoja mimi hawaendi so he uh, he falls down on his feet trembling before Paul and Silas and he brought them out and said sirs what must i do to be saved they are going to ask you walk with your disciples and you see people asking you ni nataka kuwa kama nyinyi praise the lord see you are not moving you are not running away the disciples are not running away paul is not running away and they wait and they ask you because of the difference they see you with other prisoners they want to know you are god they want to receive christ they want to come to Christ. Lakini ukikaa tu mahali pamoja utaki kutoka then wataka tu hivyo hivyo. But they will know Christ. So they say believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved you and your household. But they spoke the word of the Lord to him and to they spoke the word of God to him and all who are in his house and he took them the same hour of the night and washed their strips and immediately he and all his family were baptized. All walk with your disciples and you have all getting saved. You make a difference when you carry the disciples with you. Praise the Lord. Glory to Jesus. Those ones who are here on Tuesday, I told you of a family that is a family I have discipled. Glory to God. A family that I have discipled until it was time. I wanted them to come to where I am in the US until the Lord had to relocate them so that now I have place to go in London to be preaching. Glory to God. My disciples will be there. I know a place now I can go and stay and continue with the gospel and go and see what God is doing in their lives as they continue also the work of discipleship. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. And when he had brought them into his house, he set foot before them and he rejoiced and believed in God with all his household. Can we have households now getting born again? Praise the Lord. The household of jailers, the household of prisoners, the household of the kings.